Hey everybody, we're going to do a little follow along with Tom inking thing here, possibly for a, a future update. I am um, occasionally going to do this sort of thing where I, I, I record myself doing maybe some coloring or inking or maybe some penciling. Uh, just, you know, we'll post it at some point, maybe as an update, just kind of show the process and um, you know how how we do it. So right now I'm inking one of the pages for the Shawshank Redemption parody. And I'm using a Hunt 102 Crow Quill pen. And uh, a type of ink, it's called Pelican's Drawing Ink A. And uh, this is just uh, one of the panels. So what I've done here, you can see my pencil lines here are pretty, uh, pretty sparse. They're not very, um, they're not very uh, well worked out. It's not like I've done any shading or I really indicate too much about line thickness or anything here with my pencils. Um, and I and I do that on purpose, right? So I really want to draw with the inks. So uh, the best way to do that is to not is to not give too much information with the pencils. You want the basics down, you know, you really want to be able to show, you know, where the forms are and all that stuff. And, and you don't want to be guessing, you know, especially when it comes to likenesses, uh, you know, where everything is supposed to be and and whatnot. But you still don't want to, you, you want to draw with the inks and not, um, and not just try to trace your pencil lines because that's when you, you really suck the life out of your drawing that way. So I try to be, you know, maybe kind of loose or at least not, uh, not very detailed with my pencils so that I can think about my, my drawing when I'm inking as opposed to thinking about just making sure I exactly duplicate what I did with my pencil work. And, um, you know, I'm thinking about thick and thins here and kind of light sources and, and how I'd like to lay this, this particular scene out. This, uh, this scene is the one where, in the movie, where Boggs, the character, gets uh, savagely beaten by um, uh, Hadley, the, the main prison guard. So he's, he's sort of in his cell and he's getting, um, he's getting beat up. So the cell is very dark. It's a dark scene. So I'm going to be using a lot of blacks in the background and... and uh, this, this is going to end up being a very, very dark panel uh, because that was the, you know, the scene in the movie. And I try to, I try to think about her and, and capture the visual qualities of a scene um, in, in, the, in the parody. I think it's important, you know, that, that it, it looks somewhat like the scene from the film. You know, of course, we're taking liberties. Nobody's arm really does that, <laughs> but that's part of the you know, the gag, but, um, uh, you know, while I'm inking, I'm, I'm just trying to think about how do I really want to set this thing up? I mean, how do I want the lighting to look? How do I want, uh, the final, um, you know, panel to be composed as far as, as darks and, and lights and contrast and, and all that kind of thing is stuff I think about while I'm laying down my lines. So, um, but I've also, I also, know that uh, one of the worst things you can do with inks is to be timid about it, you know, is to is to try to uh, make sure every line is exactly precise and right where you want it to be. You, you want to be more organic with your ink, inks, you know, you want to you want to let your lines happen um, and not be so hung up on making sure that everything is exactly perfect because uh, you, you'll, you'll often get that Bob Ross happy accident sort of thing going where, uh, your lines just, uh, something happens with your lines. It really looks cool. And you go, oh yeah, okay. That was great. Even though you didn't quite plan it that way. Um, but you also know that if you get into trouble or, or something goes away or something's not working out, you can always, of course, um, bring this up a little bit. You can always... Uh, use some white out, you know, and kind of fix it. So 
I, I think it's better to have to use a little whiteout and do some fixing and adjusting on your uh, on your final inks, or go back and beef up lines, or or do that sort of thing, um, than to have um, a, an inked piece that is that doesn't have as much punch to it because you were you were really timid with laying down your lines. So. Uh, yeah, sometimes your lines zig when you want them to zag or, or, or do stuff that you didn't want them to do uh, or not be quite right. But you can always go in and thin them up with a little uh, whiteout or, or go back with your pen and thicken something up if you need to so that uh, you get the effect you want. But it's a lot harder when your lines are really shaky because you, you, just, you, you, you were too timid with laying them down. So I'll go in and be pretty aggressive with the inks. And, and uh, you know, the nice thing is that once you sort of get into the swing of it, um, you get warmed up and your lines really start to pop, then um, you really get a nice organic looking quality to your to your work. And, and, and uh, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about that whiteout stuff. But you don't, you don't get to that point unless you do let it fly. So... Um, and I'm not real warmed up here. Um, not too bad. I've been, I inked a little bit on this earlier today. So, uh, but I sort of took a break from it. That's the other thing. Inking, for me at least, is definitely something that you you lose your touch with if you don't do it a lot. You know, it's sort of like uh, shooting baskets. You know, you, when you're when you play basketball or you're shooting baskets, you. Uh, um, you know, you shoot around and, and the, the ball isn't going in and nothing's quite working right. And then all of a sudden, after a lot of practice and after a lot of time, um, things start falling. You know, you, don't, you, start, you stop even thinking about the basketball and they follow through and all those kind of things. And you, you, just, you just start to throw the ball up and, man, it goes in and, uh, and things are just really clicking. And then you get away from, you know, playing for a while and you go back and it's back to clang, clang, clang. You know, things aren't going in and you've kind of lost the touch. And for me, it's like that with inks. I mean, uh, I'll be inking and about halfway through my page, I, things start to click again. And, uh, and I start really getting things start humming along. But um, up until that point, sometimes it's a little struggle. So... Um, a lot of times, too, what I'll do is I'll have uh, the reference, you know, that I'm working on set up here. But I'm not not really doing much of a caricature of this guy. I mean, this this actor uh, who played this character, this is him. But, you know, it's not a real, it's a very cartoony expression. So I'm just I'm doing some stuff with it that taking a lot of liberties with his uh, with his likeness um, because I want the humor of, you know, making him look like he's uh, getting beat up pretty bad. To, to come through so um, and I'll definitely be doing some brush work on this page uh, especially you know some of the backgrounds are going to be solid black almost at least one wall I think on maybe on this side it's just going to be basically solid black around that window. Make him look a little beat up here. Yeah, and I'm a big proponent of uh, worrying about beefing up your lines later. So, um, you know, might give it a try. Try to get try to get that line as thick and as 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 bold as I want right away. But I'm not afraid to go back and you know add a little bit of extra ink to it to beef it up a little bit to make it pop out. Probably be doing this part with a brush, but 
I'm lazy, I don't want to drag my brush out quite yet. Probably at some point here, I'm going to have to stop working on this panel because it's going to be too wet. Like all these lines in here are pretty wet right now. And uh, that's what I mean by not being timid with your lines. This area is going to be almost solid black. I'm not going to do. He's, he's got a very um, dark uniform, obviously, so I'm going to want to do a lot of dark, big dark black areas, and with his uh, his outfit here. So I'm not going to have a lot of interior lines or mess around with any cross hatching or anything. Another thing to think about, or I think about when I'm inking these, is because I work really big. So this is this is not quite twice up, but it's it's pretty close. So this is going to be shrunk down to about half the size you're looking at it right now. So you got to be careful with how much detail you put in with this thing. You know these things. It's okay, like to use uh, large black areas and things like that, that, that works fine. But if you start putting lots of little lines real close together, they're just gonna disappear on you when you uh, when it shrinks down or it's gonna get muddy looking and indistinct. So um, what might look you know pretty good on a big board like this is not gonna look nearly as good when it's shrunk down. So you need to be careful about that sort of thing. Yep, see. This is pretty wet right here, so I gotta be careful. Stick around over here. It's okay to add some detail though, because you know it's 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 going to be a nice print job on this book, so it's going to, some of this, even the smaller, more delicate lines will still show up. Sorry, I keep getting off center here with my um, with my board. I'm looking at the board, not the camera. So Probably wouldn't be be adding all these really tiny little lines in here if it was if it wasn't just doing this for to show you guys uh, guys and gals out there uh, for this for this little demo. So, um, but because I'm not going to finish this panel here 
You guys would all be snoozing by the time I was done with it. So that's just a little, little kind of a little uh, idea of what I do when I'm busy doing these. The ink in this book. Some of these little tiny lines will maybe get lost a little bit, but they end up becoming almost a, kind of a more, not a more pattern, but almost like a zip -a tone pattern of uh, just a slight, slight different darker value in some places. So there you go. A uh, little inking. The book is progressing well. Uh, a lot of coloring to do, a lot of inking to do. Des has got some more scripts to do, but uh, things are coming along. There's some other panels of this page in various stages of being done. So, all right. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching.